Uh, my friends, it looks like Donald Trump is heading toward another divorce. And uh, no, don't get your hopes up, Melania. It's not with you. <laughs> it's with Republican senators. Escalating tension with some fierce Republican critics has just turned up a dramatic notch. The president's feud with Senator Bob Corker erupting once again today. Senator Corker mincing no words, saying he regrets supporting Donald Trump for president. I don't know why he lowers himself uh, to such a low, low standard and debases our country in the way that he does, but he does. President Trump calling Corker incompetent, a lightweight, and saying he couldn't be elected dog catcher in his home state. Corker responding on Twitter, same untruths from an utterly untruthful president. Hashtag alert the daycare staff. Oh, snap! Hashtag alert the daycare center? <laughs> wow. Uh, I, I know we've uh, gotten used to this, but can we just slow down for a second and soak in the fact that America's highest elected officials are having Twitter beefs? <laughs> this is not normal. You realize that, right? A senator trolling the president of the United States is not normal. It's funny, but it's not normal. <laughs> it's like Trump is dragging the entire federal government into trash social media. You know, you realize there's gonna be emojis in history books now. <laughs> like, in three years, there won't even be a Capitol building. Senators will just vote on Instagram stories. <laughs> it's gonna be like, hey, fam, yeah, just popping in to say that I'm gonna vote yes on tax cuts. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Gotta trust my heart on this one. All right, peace out, y'all. I'll see you on the inside. But beyond the Twitter feud, this is a big deal. And it's extremely rare. A senator in open revolt against the president from his own party, and not just disagreeing with him. Corker is saying that the president of the United States is incompetent and cannot be trusted in the Oval Office or near electrical outlets. <laughs> and, and Corker wasn't even the only GOP senator to speak up yesterday. What he said in 140 characters, Arizona Senator Jeff Flake expanded on old school style. There are times when we must risk our careers in favor of our principles. Now is such a time. We must stop pretending that the degradation of our politics and the conduct of some in our executive branch are normal. We must never regard as normal the regular and casual undermining of our democratic norms and ideals, the personal attacks, the threats against principles, the flagrant disregard for truth and decency. They are not normal. I will not be complicit or silent. To that end, I am announcing today that my service in the Senate will conclude at the end of my term in early January 2019. Now, I know that doesn't seem flashy because we're so used to living with Trump, but that was definitely a slam, like a senatorial slam. Like, you don't do a mic drop after that. You just gently lay the mic in a coffin. <laughs> so that's two deeply conservative Republican senators who won't run for re-election next year denouncing Trump bigly. Now, on the one hand, uh, you could argue that if Corker and Flake really believed America's democracy was under threat, they should stay and fight. On the other hand, you have to admit, there's a freedom that comes from saying that you quit, because now they can oppose Trump without fear that it'll hurt their political careers, all right? It's like, it's like once you put in your two weeks' notice. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, now you're that guy at Jamba Juice spitting in all the juice. <laughs> Yeah, and by the way, they didn't give two weeks' notice. They gave 15 months' notice. <laughs> 15 months. So now they're gonna be spitting in Trump's Jamba Juice for the next year. Puh. What, did you say you want protein or pee? I put both. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> and listen, listen, these aren't, these aren't the only Republicans who are causing trouble in the ranks, right? You've also got Senators McCain, Mikowski, and Collins who've rebelled against Trump in some way. So right now, the Republican Party is not having a good time. <laughs> they're not having a good time. And there's one man who's enjoying it more than most. Former White House advisor and real-life Halloween costume, Steve Bannon. Breitbart hailing the news of Flake's retirement with the headline, Winning Flake Out. Steve Bannon's reaction, according to a source close to the former Trump strategist, another day, another scalp. Wow. I'm, I'm not surprised Steve Bannon loves collecting scalps. I mean, he does seem like the kind of person who they'll catch wearing someone else's skin. He just seems like that type. You see, Bannon wants all Republicans who go against Trump to quit so that he can replace them with Trump loyalists. That's really what he wants. In fact, Bannon even said he plans to challenge every single Republican politician except Ted Cruz, which is so sad for Ted Cruz. <laughs> he even gets left out of threats. 